Hi, my August monthly update gives you a sense of the variety of activities a Member of Parliament undertakes in the constituency when Parliament isn't sitting. Some people think that parliamentary recess means holiday time, but so much happens in August and so my work continues throughout the summer. But like everyone else, I have missed family get-togethers throughout the pandemic, so my personal highlight this month has been seeing all my children and grandchildren. At the beginning of August, I brought a BBC roundtable to Stoke and chaired a discussion between local representatives of the creative arts, the council and universities to explore opportunities for collaboration in line with the BBC's plan to move more activities outside London. The Media and Data Minister John Whittingdale joined us and we also visited BBC Radio Stoke and BET365. In the city centre, the BID continues to host a range of events. I visited the Potteries Moneywise stand to congratulate them on the funding that they have secured to continue offering such great advice to residents about saving money. The Better World Festival battled against the wind and rain and I was delighted to join Cultural Zebra to talk about working together locally and globally and to promote the Harper Lee campaign. Hanley Park hosted Stoke Pride on the same wet weekend, but the spirit of Pride could not be dampened by the elements and it was a joyful event, as was the steaming weekend at Etruria Industrial Museum. I've had many online meetings with a range of organisations about the dangers of button batteries and a very useful discussion with Bayes Minister Paul Scully about the issues. I've also been discussing financial exclusion and the challenges for the ceramics industry achieving net zero and how government can help. Visits this month have included the Kickstart Open Day at Stoke City Football Ground, Hanley Fire and Police Hub, Silver Coin and Coral to discuss safe betting and employment opportunities, the St John's Community Meal, Salt Box, Shore Trust, the Pot Bank at Spode to decorate a tile for the launch of the newest addition to their event space. On the environmental side, I have been litter picking, looked at local flooding issues and attended the Stop the Stink protest at Wallace Quarry to show support for this campaign to get answers and a permanent solution to this public health emergency. I continue to press the Environment Agency on wider issues and am working to bring everyone to the table to resolve issues such as the Boatman Drive sinkhole. The biggest issue in the news this month is the tragedy that is unfolding in Afghanistan following the withdrawal of American troops, which has inevitably led to British troops not being able to remain because of capacity issues and the human cost of the return of the Sat Taliban to power. My office has been inundated with requests for help and we have done what we can. It is a terrible situation, but I have no doubt that as a city we will show compassion and I thank the local organisations who have offered their help. Whilst it's really quite pleasant today, I think that the weather does feel autumnal already and it will soon be time to head back to Westminster after a busy summer. But it's been a great summer, full of interesting events and um, it, it, it's been lovely to have a stocation I have to say.